Hi, my name is Reverend Dale Brown, and this week both of my devotional thoughts will come from the early chapters of the Gospel of Mark. Today, from Mark 2, 1 through 12, Jesus is in Capernaum, and a large crowd gathers around him and fills the house where he is teaching. There is no more room. Four men bring a paralyzed man to Jesus. They have the faith and the confidence that if Jesus touches this man, he will be made well. But the problem is that they can't get to Jesus. That because of the crowd and the number of people, it is impossible. It would have been very easy for those four men to give up. But they didn't give up. Their faith and confidence in Christ inspired them to do something extremely radical. Somehow they got this man to the roof of the house and they dug a hole through the roof. Can you imagine being in that crowd and having debris from the ceiling and the roof falling on your head and wondering what's happened and being listening to Jesus, but all of a sudden your attention being diverted to what's going on high up above you. And then they lowered that man through that hole in the roof so that Jesus could touch him. And Mark says in his text, 2 verses 1 through 12, that Jesus was inspired and impressed by their faith. Not so much the faith of the man who was paralyzed, but the faith of the four men who brought him to Jesus, who saw the crowd, and who lowered him to Jesus after digging a hole in the roof. And Jesus healed the man and forgave all of his sins. Now, two comments about that. First, when we have faith and trust in Christ, when we believe that getting to Jesus and knowing Jesus will change our circumstances, then we can't allow anything to stop us. Sometimes we have to do the unexpected or the radical, like digging a hole in a roof. If you need to get to Jesus yourself or for someone else, don't let anything stand in your way. Truth is, Jesus wants you to come. The second thing I note is that there were people there who all they saw was the hole in the roof. There was probably a contractor or a trustee from a church saying, that's going to cost X amount of dollars. They missed the miracle altogether. Following Jesus leads us in way to places and in ways that we could never imagine. Don't see the hole in the roof. See the man who was paralyzed, but now can walk like you and me. Amen. If you have the chance today, read Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And if you need a Bible, contact us at the church and we will be sure to get you one. Have a wonderful day.